have no idea what's coming. All right, folks. We're still on the the um, Daily Record. This is a story by Paul Roger, and this is just a follow-on. This is what you know. Governments and um, virtue signalling liberal attitudes get you. This is where you're going. All right. If they're not hitting you, the he'd be transvestite, pish. This is what you're up against now, right? Now they're trying to um, spoil your kids' fun. So, um, Scott's primary school bans Halloween party, claiming it's not inclusive. Members of the parent council reportedly took issue with the event at St David's uh, Roman Catholic Primary School in Edinburgh because... Not all families celebrate Halloween. So the majority don't get to do what they want because the minority say, well, I, I, I don't like that. That's not the way the world works. But the virtue signalling, uh, lame ass, and, it's, and, and by the way, the media has a lot to do with it. They lap it right up. Right? Your, your kids aren't allowed to dress up. I mean, come on. It says the decision was made after some members of the parent council took issue with the event uh, because not all families celebrate Halloween. But that's tough for them, isn't it? Don't go then. You can't have a birthday party. How? Because I'm no invited. All oh, right, I need worries. That's what happened next. Parents have now spoken out saying it's unfair to see other kids having fun in their costumes while theirs are living in the dark century. Issues began last year when parents were allegedly advised the night before Halloween not to send their children to school in a costume. This year parents avoided the short notice and asked in advance, in advance of the holiday only to be met with the same response. You hear this? As an alternative to Halloween celebrations, the Parent Council has organised an autumn dance next month. The Parent Council said children should be able to dress as they wished and claimed it will not put any additional strain on family budgets and be inclusive of all students. That's for the, the autumn dance. One angry parent said, only two parents are in attendance at the parent council meeting. So basically two parents have objected to the majority of people um, having their kids at school dressed up. Who are these two people? We want to know who they are. We need to let people know who they are. All right. They're antisocial. This is the sort of thing I'm telling you about. People come in and they go, I don't want to be part of your um, society. And now what's happening is the leaders of your society are saying, all oh, right, okay, so do you not want us to do that then? No, I don't. Right, that's fine, thank you. We're not doing that anymore. Because they two there said they don't want us to do it. Because it's no fair on them. Last year, it says here, it was so lovely to see the other kids from Piri Hall having fun and ours weren't allowed to because we were told the decision had been made by the parent council not to let the kids dress up because some families don't celebrate Halloween. That's brilliant, isn't it? It's my birthday, I was thinking of having a party. No, what do you mean? Well, I don't, want, I don't celebrate birthdays, so... How come you're getting to celebrate one? Oh, right, fair enough, mate. It says here, sadly, the issue of Halloween has become quite contentious. No, it's no. It's just your liberal, stupid, virtue signaling brain that thinks that. If you had the bottle to just say, look, listen then, if you don't like it, leave. Take your kid out the school because the majority of children here are going to have some fun. We want some people with guts 
running these places. No morons that allow minorities to change the decisions that have been part of our culture for millennia. And I'm trying to tell you this. This is what they've got in chat. This is what they've got in store for you. All the politicians, they're all into this. Right? Anyway, that was a bit of a rant there, wasn't it? Okay, folks, if you like the content, uh, hit the like button, share and subscribe. Peace out.